characteristics test. To verify the characteristics test, a clear understanding of the relay characteristics is required. Let us view the relay characteristics in line with the settings. All values shown here are in per unit. To verify the slope characteristics, we need to divide this test case into three segments. The first segment is the zero slope minimum pickup characteristics. The second segment is the slope one characteristics. The third segment is the slope two characteristics. The first segment is already verified in the pickup test. To verify the second and the third segment, we need to identify the starting point of slope one, which is denoted as BP in the figure, which stands for breakpoint. To identify BP, let us use the formula ID by IR equals slope 1. ID equals 0.3. IR is the BP and slope is already defined as 30%. IR equals 0.3 divided by 0.3 equals 1. Between 1 per unit and 1.5 per unit, the slope is 30%. To verify the same, let us inject 1.1 angle 0 in HV and 1.1 angle 180 degree in LV. The current value is chosen more than the initial point. So let me inject this value. By gradually increasing any one of the current, by rotating the knob, we can observe the tripping. Once the relay trips, let's identify what is the differential current. The differential current ID is 0.3 and the corresponding restraint current is 0.996. So let me switch it off. Let us repeat the same procedure by injecting 1.3 amps in both the CTs. Let me reset the relay. By increasing the current to 1.79 amps. So let me check the measurements. For the differential current, ID is equal to 0.376 and the I bias current is 1.185. Let me switch off the kit. The tripping values are noted as ID2 and IR2. When two points are known, the slope can be calculated using the formula M equals Y2 minus Y1 divided by X2 minus X1. In the differential graph, the X axis is the restraint current and the y-axis is the differential current. Hence, the equation can be rewritten as m equals id2 minus id1 divided by ir2 minus ir1. The result should be 30% confirming the characteristics of the relay settings. So let us substitute the value and verify the results. The same procedure can be repeated by choosing two points in slope two. However, slope two values will require high current and it should not be injected continuously. The CT specification recommendation of the IED has to be verified before injecting current. By the use of ramping mode, we can inject and verify the tripping within the specified time. The ID and IR values are noted, and slope two can be verified again.